In the last few years, Anonymous have become the most famous internet hacking group out there, receiving the most media exposure, and covering topics that relate to many people. Due to how things are in the world right now, the group has seen a substantial backing from people who share the same views as them, and this has led to many anonymous accounts opening up to share insights into what's happening around the world right now. Anyone can claim to be part of Anonymous. A few days ago an account posted an interesting article, detailing that a massive food facility is opening up in Canada, and that it will employ around 60 workers, and will rely heavily on artificial intelligence that will help manage the workload. It's fair to say that not everyone was entirely pleased with this news, as the account then went on to detail that the food in question is crickets, with Canadian officials saying that people will now get to enjoy this tasty food. The individual reported that Canada is now home to the world's largest cricket farm, with the anonymous account posting the following statement that was released from the construction firm. They said the following, the world's largest cricket production facility is officially complete. A spy food group's new plant in London, Ontario is ready to produce 9,000 metric tons of crickets annually for both human and pet consumption. The anonymous account along with users in the comment section appear to be thinking the same thing, with one user saying the following. Why are they making out like this is big news, and as if people ask for this, I've been alive for 37 years and I've never heard anyone say they want to eat crickets. I just can't imagine how this process was even started, and I don't think people will be rushing to buy these. As of right now the company has won the Developers Award from the United Nations, and this was for commitment to sustainable development goals. As the account went into further details, people soon started to realise why this was happening. The food company responsible for this said they already have orders for the next two years, and said that around 4 billion crickets will soon be transferred to the facility, and will be prepared for consumption. The reason they're doing this is because, as of right now, the cost of food is on the rise, and the company hopes that they'll be able to mass-produce crickets for the general public. Many people didn't like these comments though, with one user saying the following, so let me get this straight. Billionaires buy up farmland, buy vegetables and all the food that are good for humans and their health, and instead of making this food more affordable for everyone, they decide to hoard this land. And now because food is too high, we literally have to eat animals that are known for transferring parasites to other animals. I don't understand how we live in a time where you can have someone who's worth billions of dollars, can travel and buy any house in the world, and can buy up hundreds of thousands of acres of farmland, or 99% of people have to work into old age, can't afford housing and now can't even afford to eat healthy food. Is this a glimpse into what our future is going to look like? The company continued by saying that they're happy with their facility, and that their systems have been recognised by the International Research Centre for Artificial Intelligence a subset of the United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural Organization. Mohammed Ashur, CEO of Aspire, said the following, A growing population and increasing demand for food and material requires sustainable, scalable solutions. We are honored that the International Research Center for Artificial Intelligence saw the value in AI solution, which will accelerate the world's transition to sustainable ingredients and materials through insect technology. This isn't the only location that's testing this new type of food. In fact, scientists and researchers have said they're planning to feed bugs to children between the ages of 5 and 11, and that they'll be testing this in four primary schools in Wales. The insects will be made up of house crickets and mealworms, further saying that they're also going to blend up these insects and create a bolognese. The team of scientists said that all of this food will be made from insect protein, and they're hoping that this will encourage the kids along with their parents to move away from meat protein. The project, led by scientists from Cardiff University and the University of the West of England, 
They've said they'll be going into schools and surveying the primary school children to find out their attitudes to environmental issues, noting that hopefully they can change children's mind about this food, and will look into ways that they can get them to eat it. One of the researchers said the best way to do this is by getting into the schools early, and changing young minds on traditional foods, and opening them up to the world of insect protein. Dr. Christopher Baer from Cardiff University's School of Geography and Planning said the following, Young people's voices are becoming increasingly prominent in discussions on environmental futures and animal welfare. Their highlighting of intensive livestock farming greenhouse gas emissions has been especially high profile, but there is still little research on how these values translate into food consumption attitudes and practices among children. This research project is an opportunity for us to find out how young people of primary age envisage the role of edible insects and plant-based proteins in more sustainable and ethical food futures. This user said the following, I must be old because I remember in school I used to eat vegetables. All jokes aside though, it must be really tough to be a young person. It feels like by the time these people are 30, they're exhausted, they're tens of thousands in debt, and can't afford mortgage payments or rent. And on top of this, people's wages aren't increasing with inflation, and now they're being told they have to eat insects. It makes me wonder how much longer all of this can go on. Well, this user said the following. I can understand some of the comments that have been shared here, but perhaps this is a new alternative that will be more affordable for everyday families. At first glance, it doesn't look good, and I'm not sure if it will catch on, but I'm at least willing to give it a try. So what do you guys make of this announcement? And would you be happy with scientists testing out insect food on your children? Also, would you switch from meat protein to insect protein? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.